I'd signed to play for Toulon uh, in, in next season, in my final season. And, um, you know, it's, it's strange how things work out in life. And it was going to be another memory in, in, in this long journey of mine in, on this rugby road. And playing in an unbelievable team with huge amount of talent and the stars. And, um, you know, then all of a sudden your decision's made and your whole family's moving to the south of France. And you get a phone call asking whether you'd consider being a CEO of, of Sharks uh, Rugby. So... You know, that is one of those conversations I won't ever forget, you know, where you get thrown a curveball, one you haven't even thought of. So it took a few days to contemplate, and um, you know, it, I didn't want to answer immediately because it arrogantly would have made me think I could have done the job. And it's, it's a hard job. It's one that has a huge amount of responsibility. And, um, you know, I, I certainly will have a lot to learn. But it is a massive challenge, and it is with a team that has been a, a part and parcel of my life. It's been you know, 15 years I've played for the Sharks, and it's the only team I've ever represented uh, you know, provincially in South Africa. So it's something that's close to me, and um, to be able to negotiate uh, myself out of Toulon uh, just shows what, what kind of people they are. You know, they understand that this is a rugby decision, and uh, I haven't asked to go and play somewhere else. I've asked to take up a career that could span years uh, for someone who's just finished playing, and um, you know, I've been very impressed with how the, the Toulon uh, have, have handled this. So, uh, exciting challenge, and my work is certainly going to be starting properly on the 1st of July, my first real job. I, I think there is a degree of emotion that goes in, into making a decision as big as this, but I think the, the job and, and what is taken, what can be achieved with, with a franchise so strong, is um, was was the thing that got me excited. Um, you know, without emotion, you know, what you're doing doesn't really count. And I'm glad I've got that emotional attachment, but I'll have to make sure that I understand the actual business uh, makeup of what what lies ahead, and, and that'll be the challenge. It will be. I think operationally, I'll I'll, I'll have an idea. You know, the nuts and bolts of getting a, a team together and you know putting in coaching structures and, and, and getting things right on the field will be the easy part. It's things that I've lived and breathed over the last 16 years. The, um, the difficult part will be learning the commercial side of things, broadcasting rights and you know, player rights and uh, sponsorship deals and all these, these uh, what are at the moment, which are very involved issues. Uh, I'll have a lot of support around me, which is another factor of taking the job. I've got a hugely experienced board. And um, Lee, Lee Hurd, who's, uh, who's going to be you know, chief of the operational side, well, certainly the commercial side, and she's been there 20 years. So um, I'm not going to be thrown into the deep, dark hole from the start. I will have a lot of help around me. I think the Sharks are an amazing brand, and I think that they certainly did pioneer the way in South Africa for you know, creating a brand that sort of led the way. Um, I think a couple of other teams have caught up in the meantime and uh, you know it certainly is not broken but there's always something that can be done there's always new energy that can create a, 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 a big impetus on not just success on the field but success all around you know selling the sharks is uh, is an easy thing to do it's what the sharks actually actually represent both on the field and off the field and as a commercial entity so um, I think there's a, a huge amount of work that can always still be done no matter how successful you are